If you have ever wanted to have Unity animations on your character in VC Face in order to toggle outfits, accessories, hairstyles, and other things, this video may be useful for you. Hello, welcome to my super quick, super easy VSF animation demo tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to put simple animations onto a VSF avatar using a blend shape clip and the VSF format for avatars with VC Face. This uh, video is intended for people who have basic knowledge of using avatars in VR chat or who have made a VRM avatar before. If you've never done a VRM avatar before, I have a simple guide that I'll be linking in a playlist in the description of this video. You will also need the VRM format, uh, the SDK rather, and the VSF SDK. Both of these things will be linked in the description of the video. I am using the Nardo for my example, but you can use any VRChat character as long as it has some kind of animation that you would want to put on your character and it would normally work as a VRM, then it will be perfectly fine. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to click my character here and I'm going to add a component, VSF animations. Now, if you're following along with the actual Nardo project, this component will already exist with a bunch of animations, but for the sake of everybody else, I'm going to make it from scratch. I am also going to go to the blend shape proxy here for the blend shape clips and click on it. It's down here. And we need to add a new blend shape clip. We're just going to call it uh, wear shorts. Now, again, if you're following with the literal Nardo project, there's already going to be a ton of uh, well, well done blend shape clips here, but for the sake of example, I'm making my own. Make sure you also go to the preview prevab and click on the character here so that you can look through these and see that there are for some of these things that are blend shapes in blend shape clips, but for animations, this isn't really necessary, but it, it's kind of case by case. So if you have a character who is supposed to use a blend shape and a blend shape clip at the same time, you might want to hook in a blend shapes like, for example, if you have clothes that would be hidden, uh, that the legs or the arms or the torso underneath would be hidden by a blend shape, you might want to uh, activate that blend shape in your blend shape clip if it's not already a part of the animation. It's kind of case by case and you just have to know what your animation is like. But now that we have the, uh, anim the, the blend shape clip here, let's go on to the next step. Go back to our character. Go to VSF animations, click the plus sign, and then scroll through to the blend shape clip that we just made. Wear shorts. Then we're going to find the animation for shorts. There it is. Now we're going to export our character using VSF. Make sure you're on the root of the character, otherwise it will not let you. I'm going to export this to my handy dandy Put all my avatars in it folder or actually just my desktop uh, we'll call this nardo test shorts okay and let's it might take a minute here Export complete. Now let's bring that into VC face. Add an avatar. And I'll add it from my desktop. Nardo test shorts. Cool. Okay, so now we're in VC face. And hold on. Okay, now we're in VC face, right? I am currently using the uh, iPhone for tracking and we're going to go to expression settings. And it's going to show us a bunch of blend shape clips, but the most important one is right here that we just made wear shorts. Let's bind that to a hotkey. Uh, I use like the minus sign, whatever you will feel like. And then obviously when I press the minus sign, it's going to wear some shorts. Now in the animation, um, there's some extra stuff like reducing the fluff on the back there. 
So that animation, whatever like blend shapes are in the animation, don't over... If the animation includes blend shapes, do not also include the blend shapes in the blend shape clip. Otherwise, you're going to double up on the blend shape modifications and, and end up with goofiness. Now we can we can do more than just put on shorts. I'm going to show you guys something really interesting. Let's go back to Unity. And we can make it so that whenever we stick out our tongue, an animation plays. So I have ArcKit, uh, but you can do this without ArcKit. You know, any anytime you would trigger a, a blend shape within the blend shape clip, it'll cause the uh, the animation, I think. So let's try that out. Um, we need a animation clip called tongue out. And then we're going to put um, it's a hoodie. I was like looking for shirt and then sweater. It's a hoodie. All right. Now, every time in theory, every time we stick out our tongue, the hoodie should turn on. So let's see if that works out like I think it does. I'm just saving it to my desktop. It might take a minute. Okay, and let's load that up. Hit the plus sign, find your character. So now, whenever I stick out my tongue, uh, it just turns on, it uses the animation for the hoodie. So in theory, you can do a lot of funny stuff with uh, with VSF animations with a little bit of creativity. Just, just, like, just like VR chat, you know? Let's do, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, I have a theory. I have a theory. So how about every single time? Hmm. Jaw open. I just happen to have a collection of uh, animations from a certain popular video game. Let's see if this works the way I think it does. Test three. You can name these whatever you want. I am probably going to throw these away at the end of the video. Jaw Open is a blend shape clip designed for Arc Kit. So if you don't have it on your character, don't sweat it. Um, you will not be able to trigger it without Arc Kit tracking, though. So if you're following along and you're not tracking your face with an iPhone or an Android, then this part you might get stuck on. But it's just for fun. All right, let's try it out. So now, every time I open my mouth, I start flossing. This is the power that the world didn't know they need. <laughs> okay. Um, and not only that, but the... It just begins to floss a little bit every time my mouth is a little bit open, which which means it, it works in a quite a wide degree. So there you go. Um, you can use blend shapes and blend shape clips and tie them to animations and you can trigger them manually or you can be a, be a horrible monster and menace to society and give yourself Fortnite animations that turn on when you open your mouth.
Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you want more technical, in-depth help, you know, or if you have ideas for future tutorials, you can come into my Discord and ask in content creation or just, you know, leave more comments. So yeah, I hope that, uh, I hope that was an excellent demo for you guys on how you can, you can do anything, anything at all with, with, with VSF and, well, maybe not anything, but you can have a lot of fun with a little imagination. Anyways, um, see ya.